Michigan is no stranger to tornadoes. In fact, we average 15 every single year across the state. Most of those, however, are weak and brief in nature, EF0, EF1 type tornadoes that are on the ground for about five or 10 minutes. It's not often we get EF2 plus significant tornadoes that are more long tracked and more intense. However, when we do get these type of tornadoes, they are usually associated with injuries, fatalities, and more economic impact. In this video, we are ranking the top 10 Michigan tornadoes of the 2000s era, starting from 2000 to the current year. This is gonna be based off things like intensity, path width and length, fatalities, injuries, and also economic impact. At number 10 on our list, we have the St. Clair County EF1 tornado. It happened on June 27, 2010. It is the only EF1 to make our top 10 list. This tornado was on the ground for about three miles with a max width of 250 yards and top wind speeds of only 95 miles per hour. So on the weaker side of things. This tornado unfortunately killed one person and injured four others when it destroyed about 10 campers at a local campground. The economic damage from today's standpoint would be right around $1 million when adjusted for inflation. At number nine on our list, we have the Kalkaska EF2 tornado. It occurred October 18th, 2007 with a max wind speed of 120 miles per hour. It was on the ground for four and a half miles and was also 430 yards in width. It killed one person and injured another when it destroyed numerous homes, including a single wide, which was completely destroyed. The economic damage from this tornado when adjusted for inflation is 1.6 million in damage. This tornado was also the first killer tornado in Northern Michigan in over 30 years. At number eight, we have the Potterville EF3 tornado. This occurred on August 24th, 2007 with a max wind speed of 140 miles per hour. It was on the ground for six and a half miles and had a max width of 300 yards. Five people were injured, but luckily there were no fatalities with this tornado. Along the six and a half mile path, this twister destroyed over 15 homes and blew roofs off other structures such as barns and garages. When adjusted to today's standards, the economic impact of this tornado was about 60 million or so in damage, making it one of the more costliest ones on our list. At number seven, we have the Colin Sherwood EF2 tornado. It occurred May 7th, 2024. Max wind speeds were about 130 miles per hour on the ground for 13 and a half miles. It also had a max width of 950 yards. Along the path of this tornado, numerous homes suffered roofing and wall loss. A few weaker built structures were destroyed and trees were partially debarked. One injury, but no fatalities with this tornado. Economic damage was still not yet known as it's still a very recent tornado. So estimates will come in in future dates. This tornado makes our top 10 list because it is the first ever tornado emergency issued in the state of Michigan. At number six, we have the Williamston EF2 tornado of October 18th, 2007. This tornado was on the ground for about 17 miles with max wind speeds of about 130 miles per hour. Max width was 300 yards. There were no injuries with this tornado, but there were two fatalities when the tornado flipped a modular home into a pond. The economic impact when adjusted to inflation to today's standards, it is around 22 million in total damage. The last fatal tornado to occur in Ingham County prior to 2007 was back in 1988, so a 19-year gap. At number five on our list, we have the June 5th, 2010 Dundee Tornado. This tornado was rated EF2, almost EF3, with wind speeds of 135 miles per hour. It had a max width of 800 yards and it had a path length of 13 miles. It injured 11 people and luckily killed nobody. The economic damage from this tornado was about 50 million at the time, adjusted to today's inflation, 72 million. At number four, we have the Dexter EF3 tornado. It occurred March 15th, 2012. Max wind speeds were 140 miles per hour on the ground for seven and a half miles and around 800 yards in width. There are surprisingly no injuries and no fatalities with this tornado. Economic impact by today's standards, 16 million in damage. 
this is a pretty interesting case to look into. An EF3 tornado that's on the ground for roughly 40 minutes that destroyed 20 homes and damaged at least 200. You would think that an EF3 tornado that's on the ground for that long would kill somebody or injure somebody, but in this case, there were none. The best case scenario for this type of day. At number 3, we have an EF2 tornado out of Portage, May 7th, 2024. Max wind speeds were 135 miles per hour, so just shy of EF3 status. It was 300 yards wide, it was on the ground for just under 11 miles. There were 12 people injured, and luckily, no fatalities with this tornado. The economic impact, when adjusted to today's standards, is 50 million in damage. Along the path of this tornado, numerous homes, businesses, warehouses, and mobile homes were damaged or destroyed. There was a FedEx warehouse that sustained the worst damage, where people were trapped for hours as rescuers worked to get them out. At number two on our list, we have the Weberville EF2 tornado, August 24th, 2023. The max wind speeds were 125 miles per hour, with a path length of just under 11 miles and a max width of 170 yards. There are four injuries and two fatalities. The economic impact of this tornado in today's standards is roughly 77 million. Despite the two fatalities and four injuries, this tornado could have been much, much worse. It just missed the town of Williamston, it just missed the town of Weberville, and it ended just before hitting the town of Fowlerville. Had this tornado hit any one of those towns, the impact would have been felt 10 times as worse. Both fatalities and three of the four injuries occurred when the tornado crossed the highway I-96. The other injury occurred at a senior living center in Williamston when the roof was ripped off that facility. At number one on our list, we have the Gaylord EF3 tornado that occurred May 20th, 2022. Max wind speeds were around 150 miles per hour with a max width of 200 yards. It was on the ground almost 18 miles. There are 44 injuries and two fatalities with an economic damage impact in today's standards of roughly 54 million. This is the first EF3 tornado to hit Michigan in over 10 years, the one prior being Dexter on March 15th, 2012. This twister tracked right through the heart of Gaylord, maintaining its EF2 to EF3 status. As a result, numerous homes, businesses, and mobile homes were completely destroyed or severely damaged. The 44 injuries sustained in this tornado were scattered across the entire city, but the two fatals were in a mobile home park known as Nottingham Forest. In this manufactured home community, mobile homes were completely destroyed. We are currently working on a video exclusively for the Gaylord Tornado, so if it's something you're interested in, feel free to stay tuned to our page. We'll have that up here in the coming weeks.